Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Tuesday, May 19th. I'm Miss Holland. And I'm Mrs. Perez. Please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Wildcats. You can be seated. We're going to start this morning by gathering our thoughts. Let's take a minute like we do every day to gather our thoughts. Thank you, Wildcats. All right, a quick reminder. Today is L for Aloha. We are going to drink lemonade because L stands for lemonade. So drink lemonade or make your own. Also, um, today is first grades pickup from 9 to 1 p.m. And tomorrow will be second grades pickup from 9 to 1 p.m. So if you have anything at home that needs to come back to school, like a library book or your lanyard with your name tag on it, we want to have you bring those back to school. Um, if you are a fifth grader, um, we, want, we want you to bring back your safety patrol belt as well. All right, we're going to do some words of wisdom this morning. So everybody wants to be happy. We find happiness in a piece of candy, a video game, and new clothes. These things give us a quick jolt of happiness, but here's the deal. That kind of happiness fades. Once the candy's eaten or we've leveled up in a video game, we're off looking for more happiness but reading a good book can give us the kind of happiness that lasts a long time. Reading has a big payoff because people who read books can become smarter, kinder, less selfish, and more creative than those who don't. Someone wise once said that the habit of reading is the only enjoyment which doesn't fade away. It lasts when all other pleasures fade. So today I challenge you to find a great book. Maybe it's one that you've read already and you know you love, or maybe it's something new and you realize this is the best book ever. So pick up a good book today and find some happiness. I know kindergartners have really been reading during this, so they're really enjoying reading right now. And maybe share a good book with someone that you um, are friends with and they can share the happiness with you. Mm -hmm. Speaking of happiness, today is Teacher Tuesday. So we have two teachers today that we want to make very happy. And so they should look out for something special in the mail coming from Miss Caray. The first teacher we have is Miss Berg, and this was given to Miss Berg by Mr. Rock, and he says, thank you for helping me get in the game by taking the lead on MTSS notes for us. So congratulations to Miss Berg. Look out in your mail. Our second teacher for Teacher Tuesday is Miss Mapui. You helped me get in the game by helping plan engaging reading lessons. So Miss Hawkins said she is so happy that Miss Mapui helped her with reading. So Miss Mapui, keep an eye out on your mailbox. All right, Wildcats, we hope you have a wonderful day. Remember to keep your head in the game and be sure to make it a great day. Or, or not, the choice is yours.